Hey, what's good guys? Keaton here. So I've been feeling sort of eh with smartwatches recently. I got this thing for seven bucks and it's pretty sweet. So let's check it out. So if you guys haven't seen that $31 smartwatch that makes calls, check it out. Links below or right up here. Now this is the U80 smartwatch. It goes for $7, links below. And when I first got this, I had zero expectations. If this thing could even tell the time, that's worth the seven bucks to me. And if it could even make a call, even better. But I was seriously blown away with what it could do. So what you get inside the box is the smartwatch itself and a micro USB cable to charge it. Dead simple stuff, they cut right to the chase. And for $7, do you really think you're gonna get some stickers, a nice charging cradle, and hey, maybe even a manual? No, 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 they are cutting costs. And this is what you get for seven bucks. So the watch itself actually feels really good. It has a nice weight to it. And when I put it on my wrist, it doesn't feel too bulky or too heavy. And one thing I was a little skeptical on was this band right here. Now I have sensitive wrists. Yes, that is a thing. And some smartwatch bands, they cause my, they cause my skin to just not, not be liking it. And you just get a rash going on. And for $7, I thought it was gonna be Rash City. Not Rack City. Rack, Rack City, chick. 10, 10, 10, 20s and the 50s, chick. But Rash City. And um, after a week's worth of wearing this, I was not breaking out. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the smartwatch on here. It has a power button on the side. And it makes a lot of fun noises. How friendly. Like, not everything makes noises anymore. It's 2016, we need to bring that trend back. So now that the watch is on, it has a few different apps. It's connecting to my iPhone right here. Quick connection. And from there we get three apps and we get three buttons. Sometimes it likes to tell you that it's extra connected. So these three buttons are a apps button. This is sort of a menu button that just takes you right to the dial tone. And then this one right here is the back button. So simple stuff. I really wish there was a home button, but that's not offered. Now the touchscreen itself is pretty good. Sometimes it likes to get a little wonky on me. That could just be my $7 unit. It might be yours. If you own this, let me know in the comments below. But you can see swiping, it reacts pretty well. I mean, seriously guys, for $7, we can't really even have standards. And uh, I'm pretty blown away that this thing will even let me go to the next app section. Now this watch is packed full of features. Like, more features than my current $200 smartwatch, which is a little upsetting. So some of these include a sleep monitor, which is hilarious because you start it on the screen here, and then there's a picture of something sleeping. And then when you wake up in the morning, you hit end, and uh, if you don't sleep enough, it says sleep too little, which I think is absolutely hilarious. There's some other fun ones here, such as reminding you to drink a cup of water at a certain time, so. Oh, it's 8.30. I gotta get some my daily water in, hang on. We're all good to go. Let me check it off the list here. Phew. So just kind of crazy stuff like that is offered on here. You got a pedometer, rest when you need to take a nap in the day, just weird stuff like that. So this smartwatch actually does have some useful features such as when people call you, you can talk to them from the smartwatch and actually hear them, which isn't a thing on my $200 smartwatch. So my buddy Matt is calling me right here. Hey, what's good, bro? So as you can see right there, I can hear him, I can talk to him, and it sounds pretty good. Here's the one weird part. After you hang up a call, if you have a song that you recently paused on your phone, it automatically just goes ahead and play it. So the speaker on here, not horrible. It's pretty loud. You can actually listen to music from the watch, which I think is pretty cool. And um, all my audio seems to be going through the watch, so that's not a bad thing. Most smartwatches don't even have a speaker, so you're definitely coming out on top. Another feature on here is you can actually play music from the watch. If we go into BT Music, you hit play, got that Chain Smokers jam going on. You can skip songs, play, and it's actually pretty loud, like a lot louder than I was even thinking, and the sad part is like, this is $7, and my other smartwatches that are like hundreds of dollars, they don't even have a speaker. Now here comes the sad part. If you're using this watch with an iPhone, you can't really get any notifications. It only works with Android devices, so for once, you get Android guys get real lucky, and I'm really jealous of you. But I mean, for seven bucks, you're getting to play music, answering calls, and finding out when you need to take that next sip of water. 
And I almost forgot to talk about the time. The most important part in a smartwatch. Uh, you're only gonna be able to see the time if the watch itself is on. It's not like a pebble where you can just flick your wrist and quickly check the time. So with that being said, I was able to get around two to three days worth of battery life just using it normally, having the display on. And I mean, for $7, guys, you can't really complain. So in conclusion, I totally recommend the $7 smartwatch. It's so awesome. And even if you're using it with an iPhone, just to be able to get a speaker and know when you need to take that next sip of water, totally worth it. And if you have an Android device, you lucked out. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and are gonna pick up the $7 smartwatch, drop a like on it and go ahead and get subscribed so you don't miss any more videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.